Hey, it's John Siskovich from FarmMarketingSolutions.com and I'm standing in my hop yard. I wanted to talk about the soil test that I just did and what I did with those results from that soil test. Check it out. So one of the most important things that you can do when you're farming is to know exactly what you're doing when you're farming. And part of doing that is to do a soil test. Uh, I like to do them yearly because I do amendments to the soil, whether it's uh, manure, whether it's lime. Uh, we are not certified organic, but we practice organic standards. So everything falls within that realm. But knowing exactly what your soil is doing will give you an idea of what actions you can take. So we did a soil test. I have 1.4 acres of hops, small, nice, small, manageable hop yard. Uh, and I did four samples from each corner, each quadrant. You know, I split it into four and got an idea of what the whole yard looks like. And on average, our pH was a 5.8 and we were high in magnesium. <clears throat> so I knew I wanted to put in lime, but the local lime guys, kind of the only show in town, uh, have high magnesium lime. They also offer a high calcium lime and I was below optimal on my calcium levels. Now the calcium and the pH, two things that really need to be in balance for the hops. So what we did is I got powdered lime, put it in a drop spreader that I got off of Amazon for like 240 bucks. Uh, I'll put a link to exactly what thing I bought uh, in the, the notes below this video somewhere. <clears throat> put it in a drop spreader, uh, towed it behind my little Craftsman riding mower and we put in a ton and a half per our, you know, about a ton per acre. Uh, I bought two tons and put a ton and a half in the hop yard. The rest is going to be elsewhere on the farm. So that lime, you know, it'll go from 5.8 up to 6.5 a little quicker than it will from 6.5 to 7. That last half a point or half a percent or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, so I hear, because I'm still a greenhorn grower, uh, to reach, but the hops will definitely appreciate that high calcium-based lime this year. Uh, so that was my rate. I got my rate from doing my soil test. I used UVM for their soil testing. Connecticut, where I'm based, also has, through our Department of Ag, uh, I just like the UVM test results uh, a little bit better. Uh, one of the other things we did is I just did a video on this uh, flame weeding. We went through and flame weeded all the rows and we had some bark mulch down to mulch around the hops to help keep down the weed pressure. And what happened is that we had these seasoned wood chips and those wood chips caught on fire plus some of the old weed material. So now I have carbon and this wood ash going right around the hops. Not a lot of it, uh, but what fires and what happened uh, added some wood ash around the hops. Wood ash has a pH of about 10. So going from 5.8 to 7, I still have a pretty far a distance to travel, especially knowing that that, you know, that last half of whatever is tough to get. So I'm kind of excited that now my weed pressure is down to zero and I have a little bit of extra pH to balance me out in the yard. I'm going to do soil tests later in this year and I'll do a video when I retest again to see exactly what the effects of my liming and the flame weeding were. Uh, but so far, happy. Uh, I just wish it would rain. <laughs> so that's it from the hop yard for today. I'm going to do more hop videos as we go. I have a very diverse farm here, so I'll do videos around, you know, everywhere. Uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to follow along to my progress this year. And other than that, you know, have a nice day. And uh, until next time, I'll see you out in the field.